few comments and questions online about the specifications of what I've done with my truck as far as drivetrain wise. You know, what motor's in it, what transmission, what I've done with rear end, things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and discuss that in this video and kind of show you exactly what I've done with it. Uh, to start with it, the big one up front, a lot of people, I, I find it funny, assume with this being a truck that it's a small block, and I always surprise most people when I tell them it's a 440. So the 440 in this is actually a 1968 block, so it would have been in a 69 car. According to the VIN on it, it came out of a C body, so it's nothing super special, but being 68 it is 10 to 1 compression, so it is a decently hot motor, it's got a stock cam in it, so nothing special there, but I did put a aluminum Edelbrock intake on it, uh, Edelbrock 750 carb, uh, long tube ceramic coated headers. The headers themselves are Flotec brand, and according to Summit, they don't make a set for a two wheel drive truck in ceramic coated, they only make them for the four wheel drives. And me, owning enough of these trucks, knew the similarities in these uh, trucks side by side and figured that I could get a set of 4x4 headers to fit. And sure enough, I bought those, got them in the you know mail, and they fit effortlessly enough with no problems whatsoever. So I ended up buying those, uh, got the exhaust running into uh, three inch dual exhaust into three inch glass packs with a three and a half inch body and they're 18 inches long so there's no not much of a muffler there and then those are turned out and ran through the bed. The transmission backing this up is kind of hard to find. The transmission itself isn't but the bell housing is. It's a truck MP435 transmission so it's got a truck big block bell housing and flywheel and clutch and that I actually ended up finding from a donor truck and all of that is stock. I paid 50 bucks for the transmission. So I do want to go a couple different routes, but I, I really admire the price of these MP435s. They're dirt cheap. And it is, it's a two wheel drive transmission. The drive shaft in this, because this is a 78 frame, uh, did some research and from everything I found, it said that a four wheel drive single cab long bed was the same one piece uh, drive shaft, one piece with a slip yoke in it as a single cab short bed two wheel drive. And so I ended up finding a long long bed two wheel or long bed four wheel drive on eBay, purchased it and sure enough it bolted right in. And so interior wise As I mentioned, the MP435, I've got that backed up in here. Normally the transmission sticks are have all kinds of bends and kinks to them. I ended up trying to go with a much cleaner look and actually straightened my shifter out as straight as I could and it gives it, I think, a nice clean look. And with that, because I've lowered the truck, the MP435 being a top loader transmission where the whole shift assembly bolts onto the top, um, it really puts it close to the dash. So it sits really low so going from first to second and then even over to reverse it's almost right on my seat but I got room to make all that work with having that kind of sleek look and as far as the rear end is concerned on this truck the 78 frame that I have under this originally was a slant 6.3 on the tree truck so it had an eight and a quarter in it I put a eight and three quarter in it which matched up with the 72 to to 80 body, actually I guess up to 93 body style truck. But that 70s body style truck. Um, width wise on that rear end, it's the same as a 73 C body Chrysler. And that's actually the rear end I found that it came out of. I just had to move the spring perches. So I had them set up on some stands and I cut one off, relocated it, re-welded it, cut the other one off, relocated and welded it. And did that thinking my Opinion angle would be close and it was dead on perfect. So with that, it's now an eight and three quarter with a removable center section. I put a 742 case 323 sure grip rear end in this. So it is a posi, if you will, or sure grip was the Chrysler name. And made for a pretty good rear end. I had a bad axle hop issue with this, so I ended up modifying a set of Caltrax for this, because they don't make a set of Caltrax for a pickup truck, for a Dodge pickup at least. So I bought a set, since I did the axle flip on it, I purchased a set for a 68 B body, and I just had to lengthen the bottom tube, I think it was two inches. And that was really the only modification. I had to clearance some of the front pivot, and now I have a set of Caltrax on this, which completely eliminated my axle hop issue I had. And I had mentioned the exhaust, dual three inch exhaust, uh, running out each side, 
and with having lowered the truck like I did, I'm only six inches off the ground. So six inches, you run three inch exhaust. Let's say I have a half inch of clearance. <laughs> that means my exhaust is only two and a half inches off the ground. So my solution to that was come through the bed. And I'd looked at purchasing some different exhaust setups and things, and there's a couple of things you can purchase online. None of them I liked. They all looked cheap to me. So I ended up just going with a piece of aluminum that I screwed on, just cut the hole to match, and then the exhaust itself, I've got an exhaust clamp inside and hanger, so that it's actually free floating in the hole, so it's actually free to move separately from the bed. So as always, let me know if you have any more questions or concerns or whatnot about this truck, or any of my vehicles for that matter. Um, I'm always willing to make videos and looking for more content, and I always seem to miss things. I know everything I've done to this, but it's hard to remember what I've made videos of and tell everybody about. So let me know, and as always, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the future for more content.